This short video will look at databases, going through what they are, why they are useful, how to access them, we'll highlight the main databases for your subject, and then we'll also look at some general databases that are useful for looking beyond your subject area. So first of all, we will look at what databases are. UCA subscribes to over 50 databases. Some of them, such as Academic OneFile that you can see here, will find sources across a range of topics, from the arts to the social sciences to technology and literature and so on. Whereas other resources, such as this one here, AdForum, are more specific and will just focus on one topic, which in this instance is advertising. Databases will provide a diverse range of sources, such as journal articles, newspaper articles, images, ebooks, moving images, sound clips, and more. Whereas here in the information about Academic One File, it tells us that it finds journal articles. Whereas below here, in this resource, the AJ Buildings Library, we can see that it has images and drawings and photographs. So they're quite different from each other. So now we're going to have a look at why databases are useful. They are accessed online, which means that you can use them from home and 24 hours a day and seven days a week. When you click on a database, you will be asked for your Athens username and password and will see a screen similar to this. If you don't know your Athens username and password, go to the My Library tab on My UCA for more details. Databases search the contents of ebooks and journals, unlike the library catalogue which will only search for the titles of them. For example here, on the library catalogue it tells me that we have the journal Blueprint. If I wanted to find a specific article within Blueprint, I would either have to browse through all of the uh, journals in the library to look for what I want, or alternatively I could use one of our databases. In this instance, I've used the database Design Applied Arts Index, and then I can search the contents of Blueprint here to find specific articles within it. This allows you to find sources that you otherwise wouldn't be able to find or locate. The majority of the sources you find will be in full text, meaning that you can read them instantly online and you will be able to download articles, sections of books to read offline or print out. For example, here there's a linked text to this record, and here there's a PDF that links directly from the record that I found. When you come across sources that don't have a full text link, like this one here, you can look up the title on the library catalogue. It might be that we have it in print or online through a different route. So I'm just going to copy the title of the journal here, which is Architectural Record, and search for it on the library catalogue. I found the record there. Um, so from here I can see that we've got it in Canterbury Library. Um, it's, on, it's a journal, so it's on the shelf. So it's just a case of finding it physically rather than reading it online. So now we're going to look at how to access databases. So they can be accessed via the library catalogue. You just need to go to the databases link on the left of the screen. There are also links on the My Library tab on My UCA and on the UCA library website. So once you reach this page, you'll find an A to Z list of all of the different databases that we subscribe to. I'm now going to take you through the databases that are useful for architecture and interior architecture and design. The first database is Architects Journal and the AJ Buildings Library. You can register for the Architects Journal. Um, this will give you access to all of the news, competitions, jobs, articles and opinions that are published daily in the Architects Journal. You can also register for the AJ Buildings Library, which will give you um, 
high resolution images and plans of recent building projects. The second resource is called Avery. This searches for journal articles on architecture and design. Some articles that you find you'll be able to look at straight away, other ones you'll need to double check to see if we've got the journal in the library catalogue, but there's a handy option on here that will check our records to see if we've got the journal in electronic or print. The next database is the Construction Information Service. This provides full text access to books, standards and technical advice and such. One real benefit of this is that it has the full text of all REBA publications. So for example, if you wanted to look at the REBA job book, you could find it on here. And anything that you do find, you can download and save a PDF to your own computer. So you could refer to the REBA job book or the plan of work and have your own copy to use while you're at UCA. We have access to Digimap which enables you to view and print Ordnance Survey maps of the United Kingdom. We also have access to Material Connection. This is a database of images and descriptions of different materials. You can search for different materials on here and it will provide you with lots of information about them which can be used when you're doing your design work to show the kind of material that you're thinking of, of using. We also have links on the page to Reba Pics, which takes you to the Reba's visual archives so you can find images for use in your work there. And as well as that, we have a link here to the Reba um, online catalogue, which is their library catalogue. Um, it searches their um, library records, but they have lots and lots of journal articles and books and book chapters all, all put onto this database. So if you're searching for an architect or a building, you'll find an awful lot of results on here that you can then double check to see if we've got them in our library catalogue. So it will have uh, results from articles and books and book chapters. So it's a really good way of finding what's inside architecture books and journals. And now we're going to look at a couple of general databases. These are useful for students on any course. You will find material on art and design, but you will also find material on other topics such as politics, science and philosophy. So first of all is the article and book chapter search. This appears at the top of the A to Z list of databases and it searches across a number but not all of the resources in the list. It's very useful because it searches the full text of the material that's held within it. So if your search term appears within an article or, a, or an ebook, it will appear in your results list. It is also excellent if you are researching a specific theorist or writer, as not only will you find their writings, you will also find other writers' interpretations of their work and other writers' opinions on the work of your original theorist, which is very useful in kind of helping you get a more balanced picture on the person you're researching. So the second resource is Nexus. This searches across global news and business sources from around the world. So one huge benefit of Nexus is that everything that you find will be in full text so you can either read it online or print it out. So it's very good for looking up information from and about other countries because it includes material not just from the UK and America. And it's also good for looking at how events or artworks have been interpreted by both Broadsheet and the tabloid press as it features a quite a wide range of news sources. 